this particular endeavor is being hosted by CCRI in concert with the Rhode Island Aura Health Foundation, the Rhode Island Dental Association, the Rhode Island Dental Hygienist Association, and the Rhode Island Dental Assistance Association. It is going to be a life-changing event for the people that we treat, but more so is going to be even more of a life-changing event for the volunteers who attend to the needs and treat these wonderful, wonderful people. We wanted to give back to the citizens for the state of Rhode Island who are in need of dental care. I think when we set out about 18 months ago to make this project a reality, one thing that we really didn't anticipate was the extreme outpouring of, of volunteer support. Uh, everyone works together to perform the treatment on, on the patients. The nice thing about doing this at the CCRI campus here in Lincoln is there is a dental assisting school here and a dental hygiene school uh, within the community college which allowed us to use those facilities. So x-ray units were in place, chairs were, were in place, uh, dental units were in place. Historically with one of these Mission of Mercy projects we rely on equipment that's portable equipment. It's brought in in tractor trailer trucks and it's set up on an as-need basis wherever it's needed but many of our doctor volunteers were very pleased because the chairs were in place. They weren't temporary chairs, so um, I think much of the work that was done was done a little more efficiently and a little more in keeping with how things were within the dental office. It's quarter of 11. We're in the midst of the Mission of Mercy at CCRI, and this morning when we opened the doors, we had 100 people when we were opening the doors and starting to let people in. I got here at 5 o'clock in the morning. I got here at uh, 4 this morning. 5 o'clock. <laughs> and did it rain. <laughs> the patients that are coming are so appreciative of the treatment that they're getting today. It has been an exciting endeavor with our over 250 volunteers that are making this happen. From the time I entered the door till this, till this point, everything was superb. Really very, very helpful above and beyond the call of duty. And uh, when was the last time you've been to the dentist? About 10 years ago. 10 years? Yeah, dude, I, I, have, I don't have a lot of money, so this is a really, it was a blessing to have you guys do this. It's not only that, they get an A-plus for feeding the hungry. All of us that were in line, and they came by with biscuits and um, bars and water and everything, and they were really good. I think it was hugely successful and surpassed basically what we anticipated. That's due to the, our, the volunteer support from the doctors, um, the equipment that was loaned and donated and purchased, and the dental supplies from the dental supply companies. A huge outpouring of, of all types of, of partners that don't always work together. We had the Blue Cross Blue Shield wellness van doing cholesterol and blood pressure checks on Saturday. University of Rhode Island uh, students helping us with dispensing medications. We did all types of, of general dentistry, fillings, uh, cleanings. Uh, we did some limited root canals on front teeth. We did oral surgery. We were able to take x-rays for a lot of the people and, and do diagnostic work. We had an area of patient education where people could sort of get some information on proper hygiene and cleaning of the teeth. And we were able to provide patients who had teeth extracted with some pain medication and some uh, antibiotics if the surgeons thought that was necessary. Uh, people in pain have a very difficult time finding a backup clinic to help them. Hospital emergency rooms are backed up. Uh, the cost of delivering care in an emergency room is uh, it's tremendous. And care for, from clinics like this help people get through the bad times. I came here to get my um, a root, get a root canal. Two teeth extracted. The doctor that uh, that took care of me was was a stand-up guy. He was very gentle. He he I, I didn't mind that there was some pain. And I told him I said you know because he asked me to tell him if there's pain. And I said don't worry about it. Just keep going. He's like no 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 no. We're not gonna have you uncomfortable. And he hooked me up. He was a good guy. We we had as our goal to try to see 300 patients per day over the two-day period, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, we saw about 340 patients, and uh, after 
all is said and done in registration. Today, our number was 801 patients. Without the help of CCRI for organizing and using the facilities here, I don't know if a, a project of this magnitude would have been possible for us here in Rhode Island. So we certainly thank the community college for that. We thank the staff at the community college who's just done yeoman's work to make everything fall into place for us. I arrived at 5 a.m. this morning and the rain started about 5.15. But it was, and the sun's gonna shine now because everything was so good. <laughs> thank you.